Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Easy and with Jay. Yeah, management of separated file in a premolar tooth. As you can see, this is the preoperative x-ray which I received from the patient, was taken by the previous dentist. This patient was referred because a reciprocal blue file separated inside the canal of tooth 2-4. When the patient presented to me, the patient was asymptomatic and uh, the previous dentist had informed me about a failed attempt to retrieve the separated file. So whenever I have a patient walk in with a separated file, whether the previous dentist is attempted or not attempted, I always get a small field of view CBCT done on my consultation visit. So why do I do this? I do this to rule out the existence of root perforations from previous attempts made by the dentist to retrieve this file. Because if by any chance uh, there was a perforation created while trying to retrieve this file, I can inform the patient because perforation from a file retrieval procedure can lead to a poor treatment outcome. So it's very important for me to let my patient know if there is a perforation before I start. So this can be clearly you know, understood and I can evaluate using a small volume or small field of view CBCT. So there are a few points that I gather from my small field of view CBCT. In this case, there is no active infection. I mean, obviously, I can see a radiolucency there. But uh, what I want to speak about is two sections. One is the axial view. I make my sections and I keep going in from coronal to the uh, apical end. And I evaluate the remaining root dentin. I want to know if there is an existence of root perforation. In this case, luckily, there was no root perforation and there was another information that I gathered and that was, if you look closely next to the arrow mark, it clearly shows the remaining dentin thickness is very thin, mesial, in the mesial wall. So when I make my attempt, I will at all times take the precautions and I will make sure I do not remove any dentin from the mesial wall. So my removal of dentin, if needed, will be only from the distal wall. Worst case scenario, I can use my buccal wall as well. Next view I want to see is the sagittal view. I want to know the length of the separated instrument. If you watch closely, uh, the arrow mark shows the length I measured. It was about 6 millimeters. Now some of you might wonder why do I need to know the length? Why? Because the length of the separated instrument is what is going to tell me what technique I need to use to get this file out. If the length is less than 3 millimeters, that is very small, most of the time I can vibrate it with my ultrasonics and get the file out. If it is greater than 3 millimeter, in this case it is 6 millimeters. In such situations, it's very hard to vibrate the file out. I would rather use an instrument, grab and pull the instrument out. Let's talk about the file retrieval strategy for this particular patient. First, visualize the separated file. I want to know if it is loose in the canal. I'm sure it's not loose because the, the dentist has already told me that they could not grasp it or they could not do anything. They couldn't get the file out, it was stuck inside. So once I visualize, I may need to create a staging platform. Once I create that, I will have a little bit of the file end jetting out of the root so you know I can grasp it and I can pull the file out. Before we get to the clinical video I want to inform you all that Zumax file retrieval kit is the retrieval or instrument retrieval system that I used in this particular case. Now let's get to the clinical video.
Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel.